Hello and welcome to Bur Oh, hold on. I've forgotten something. Hello and welcome to Bark of Beasties, World of Well. By the way, I'm in a new place. Do you like it? I'm Phil and in today's video we are going to be looking at self-consciousness. What it means to be self-conscious and why we might feel such a way. As well as what we can do to make sure others don't feel like that around us. We'll also be spreading smiles around the world, writing messages of kindness and putting them lovingly in a little origami heart to share with others. Did you know that being kind isn't just good for those we are kind to, it can be good for us as well. Kindness makes us happier, increases our energy and confidence level. Wow. I'm amazing. It's good for our heart, reduces stress, and can even slow down aging. Just think, if you're always kind, you could live forever. You could say it is kind of amazing to be kind. No, no, you can't say that. Cut, 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 cut. Today's session, you will need pen and paper and a good old juicy slice of lovely kindness. Today's beastie is extra special because this beastie is kind of like a guardian to all of the other beasties. He makes it his duty to watch out for them. If you've read any of the stories about the beasties, you will see that this guy is always the one to help. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mimic. Often a slightly mischievous little imp, he is kind and lovely. He loves doing his best to help and please everyone to me. He even dresses up like a puppy because he thinks it will make people like him more. Does that make more sense now? But we love him as he is, so he doesn't need to do that. Do I need to do that? Do I take it off? Okay, I'll leave it off. No? Yes? No? <laughs> yes? No? Oh. The things he does for others comes from the bottom of the mix heart. He truly is a generous, caring, and extremely kind beast. But his need to please everyone, even with the way he dresses, shows that he is really self-conscious. But what is self-consciousness? It isn't always a bad thing. Self-consciousness or self-awareness can mean that we are comfortable with who we are, that we recognize our own emotions, that our strengths and our weaknesses, and we're honest with ourselves about ourselves. But self-consciousness can also be us being too hard on ourselves. Thinking that we look bad, sound silly, don't seem intelligent, and we tell ourselves that this is what everyone else thinks, even though that most certainly is not true at all. We then change who we are, our behaviour, style, hide things about ourselves that we should always be proud of, to conform with what we believe the outside world wants from us and expects us to be. This can put a lot of pressure on us, and feeds into our confidence. Self-esteem causes ants. You remember ants, the automatic negative thinking? If not, you go and watch the video with Gemini and find out all about it. So how can we help mimic? Well, firstly, by letting him know that we accept him as he is. Like mimic, lots of people feel excluded or left out because of who they are, where they're from or what they look like, but we must always include them as long as they want to be, and make them feel welcome into our world. But also, just by being kind, sharing a smile. Saying good morning, making mimic a cup of tea. The simplest of things can make the biggest of differences to someone. Like Mimic, who is feeling a bit self-conscious. Whilst we're sharing some good vibes and kindness with Mimic, we may as well spread that love to the rest of the world as well. We are going to be writing some lovely messages of kindness and folding them into some lovely origami heart. And sharing the loveliness far and wide. That was a lot of lovely. You can hang them from a tree in a park. Don't litter though. Or you can give them to a friend. Post them to someone's door. Or leave them somewhere around to be found. But before we start, however, work through these talking tips. And don't forget to pause the video to give you more time to talk. Oh, 
Okay, so here we go. As always, you can follow me making the origami heart, or you can follow the instructions that are here now, which is probably your best bet. For this origami exercise, we are using a square piece of paper, like this. If you don't have a square piece of paper, that's absolutely fine. What you can do is take an A4 piece of paper like this, and take one of the corners and just fold it down so you make kind of like a triangle kind of thing <laughs> there. So you've got that shape. And then with this bottom bit, just fold it up to the bottom of the, uh, the edge of the paper. And then you can either cut it very carefully, so really carefully, using very safe scissors. Or if you fold it backwards and forwards a few times, then you can pair it. Right, right. Nope, not like that. Right, I've got my paper. Here we go. You ready? Does it look like the dog's book? Before we start folding, think of one or more messages of kindness that you would want to share. Um, you don't have to tell me what they are or share them with anyone else. Just write them on the bit of paper and then we're going to fold them off the box. Up. Up. Right, now you've written your messages. Let's go. The first thing you do is you take your square piece of paper like this and you fold it in half one way and then open it out again and fold it in half the other way like that. And you've got a cross. Now if it looks like I'm looking down here, I promise I'm not following the instructions. I know how to do this not quite hard. Of course I do. Right, the next thing you do is take the bottom bit or whichever side and you fold up to sort of halfway. So you've got this bit and you fold it up to halfway like that. Okay? And then once you've done that, turn it over so the fold is facing downwards and you fold the two top corners in on, on the edge, on the fold edge, as if you're kind of making a paper aeroplane. So it's like that. And then you turn it over again so the folds are facing downwards and you've got this bit up the top, this kind of flat bit up the top. And then you fold the top two corners down like that. So you've got this kind of shape. So you take the two top corners like that, fold them down and down, so then you have a little square. And then what you do is you take the top bit, so you turn it over so you've got the two flappy bits sticking out and you fold the top bit down like that. So you fold it down like that, you see? And then once you've got that kind of shape, these two bits on the corner here, or the edges here, fold them in. Kind of like this. You see how I folded those two edges in? There we go, like a shape like that. And with these two top bits here, you fold them down into a little triangle. Like so with these two top bits, you fold them down like that and like that. And there you have it. You've got a little heart. So now it's time to decorate it. You can decorate it however you like, you've got your little message inside, but maybe write something on it that lets people know that there's something inside for them. There we go, well done guys, that was amazing. I have put a few together and I'm just going to go and spread them around. If you would like to explore more of the beasts, can get your teachers or parents to download the remote wellness kit from the Book of Beasties website, www.bookofbeasties.com. See you in the next Book of Beasties World of Wellness video where we will meet Kona. See you in the next Book of Beasties World of Wellness video where we will meet the Jumble Twins. These two are very intelligent beasties. They have very different skill sets. Letter is good with numbers, 
But it's not bad for words. A number is good with letters, but not that great at math. We're going to be helping them and ourselves identify our strengths and weaknesses and work towards what we are really good at and creating pictures for every letter of our name so we can communicate in different ways. See you next time, guys. Ah, yes. No. Oh.